Ryan Fomato here from the music station. How are you today, Ryan? Uh, great. How's it good, going? Good, man. Good to see you. Hey, Ryan, what, what, what did you just play a second ago? Play that again. That, again. That was so clean and nice. And, and you have a little distortion on your amp, and you plug in right into like a Vox. Going uh, into the Vox you, Valvetronics. Going into a Vox Valvetronics right there. Okay, that's really nice. And so, but that's not your sound. You play through an Axe FX, isn't that yep, correct? The Axe FX Ultra. Yeah, I do too, and it's well, a great actually, sound. Yeah, the Axe FX too now. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a great sound. All right, but anyway, um, some of the if you know, like if I needed to do an exercise to be able to do that line that you just played, can you help me with some exercises? Oh, sure, absolutely. Um, the the strategy to getting a uh, fast picking is going to be basically as follows. Uh, it's a strategy that many uh, guitarists employ, like Ingve Malmsteen. Well, do not pick three times per string. Instead, you're actually going to pick two times per string. For example, you would down pick. Then up pick, then pull off. So you'll have this. Then in addition, you would take that on the next string. Then you pull off at the end. Uh, so you start getting your speed up, but the, the strategy to all this is just to do two picks. And then it sounds like you're picking all three. But you're really getting a pull off on the last one. keep triplets if you're playing with the beat to make it one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, six triplet. So you do a little quicker. Hey Ryan, I really like that, that move you just did. That last thing you did, if you could just slow that down for us. So what that pattern was, was the exact same thing I first showed you in the beginning, except this time, I'm going back three strings, move up one, and then back three again. Then up one, back three again. Up one, back three again. So you got... stroke. So for example, if I have 7, 9, 10, and go to a 7 here, if you look at the right hand, it's down, up, down, followed by another down. So you rake an economy pick from one string to the next. Okay, so you're basically going to go up the E uh, harmonic minor scale with that economy motion. In the last lesson, we had that riff over here saying the exact same principle except an E harmonic minor. So you go up economy picking, then apply that other principle that we learned last time. That sounds great.